Well, here we are getting the trucks cleaned up. We got the 0124 valve, which is up for grabs, and now we've got the 04, which is also up for grabs. 30 times entries are live for this truck and this one at the same time right now. Two separate giveaways, two separate winner drawings. But right now, when you place an order on the app or on the store, you're getting entered for both. And we've got some new wheels for this sucker. Yeah. New wheels, new tires. It's a setup we have never gone with before, and I'm super excited about it. Well, have fun. I said, have fun. <laughs> Here is the truck, the third gen. This truck should be getting picked up actually this week. If you did not see the announcement for the second gen 12 valve dually with the five speed clean truck. Truck's going to Colorado. Uh, Anthony Daniels out of Colorado won this truck and uh, that's where it's going. But in the meantime, um, we're prepping this. This is the next truck here up for grabs. And right now you can get 30 times entries and enter to win this truck in that white 24 valve out there at the same time. So when you place an order, it's basically a BOGO. When you buy anything on the store to get entered, your entries are getting doubled automatically into this giveaway and the one for the white one. Uh, so two trucks, two giveaway drawings, um, pretty legit. You could either get super lucky and win both or two separate winners could be taking home these trucks. So take that into consideration. I'm gonna pull these wheels out of the truck, give you guys a little bit better look, kind of explain the reason I went with this setup. So guys, what we have here are some 20 by 10 method wheels with the beadlock appearance on the lip of the rim. And then we have 35 by 12 and a half Venom Terra Hunter MTs, not an AT, which is what we've traditionally done. And uh, super excited about this combination. So I will show a picture of the inspiration right here of the truck where I got the idea from total credit to that guy i don't know who he is all i know is i've seen the truck on instagram before shared by pages and i've seen it on google when i looked up 20 by 10s and 35s for these trucks right here and i saw that truck and i was like that's a cool setup we've never done anything with that color of wheel entire combo like we've never done anything like that so i wanted to do that it's another one of those that it's not going to be like crazy stance it's not going to stick out like you know half the tire but it's going to look good it's going to look meaty and I think it's gonna work out very, very well for this truck and give it just the look we're hoping for. And since it's only got a two and a half inch leveling up front, I have a feeling that a 35 by 12 and a half and a 20 by 10 with a negative 18 millimeter offset should still clear on this truck. That's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm thinking is gonna happen. I know that a 33 by 12 and a half on one of these usually is what guys will run and then get away with in, in terms of like on a 12 wide wheel with a negative 44 but i think with less offset and a slightly taller tire we should still have about the same amount of clearance just a little bit different fitment of course so we're going to get to tearing these wheels off here and putting on these new ones oh my gosh that's got to be one of my favorite wheel and tire setups i've ever had that's got to be my new favorite wheel and tire setup it's such a good balance. Like it's still a 20 inch wheel, but it's so much tire and the offset is like, it's well balanced. Oh man, I love that. And with the color of this truck too. And now, like I said, guys, I said I got the inspiration from somebody else. I don't think these are the exact same wheels and tires. All I could see was the side picture of it. And I tried to find the wheel that looked the closest to what he had on his truck and the tire with the sidewall that looked the closest to what he had. But obviously his, his setup could be completely different in terms of actual brand and specs and stuff, but it looked almost exactly like this. So that's what I went with, closest I could find to match up, but uh, pretty sweet.
is the final reveal of the wheel and tire setup. If you want to show them around that, they're the 20 by 10 method racing wheels. Again, I showed you the inspiration where I got the idea from for the color combo and the tire setup. Um, absolutely love it. If you want to show them a little bit up close of all the freaking mud caked in it from backing it around. <laughs> I literally had just told him, I'm like, I'm gonna try to be super careful so we don't cake the tires in mud because it's super muddy out. And I didn't make it 20 yards from the freaking barn, just from there to there. And uh, that tire is literally, the tread is packed. Like it's packed in mud, it's bad. <laughs> so it's gonna be fun driving these out of the mud. Probably gonna destroy the yard going uphill. But anyways, Probably. so uh, pretty slick. First time ever doing like a bronze or copper finish like Keller wheel never done it because I've always kind of been skeptical of the idea of doing anything other like either chrome polished or black or black and milled it's just kind of been like a line I've never crossed just because I didn't really like the idea of it but once I saw a truck with this same color with this wheel and tire combo on it when I say this wheel and tire I'm talking maybe not the exact same brand and you know wheel and tire but the same style tire same style wheel I was like, that looks sick on that color. I got to try it, see if people like it. If they do, cool. If not, we just won't do it again. But I think it looks sick. And if you come around and check out the headlights, I'm going to put these on for the see. It looks so good with this truck and these built tires. Like, one of my favorite things about this truck is the headlights with all the color matching in this color. Because they almost like blend in with the color of the paint just because of the smoked and black housing it just looks really sick and then with that wheel and tire combo the amber almost matches the bronze color i mean it looks really good i think it looks absolutely killer mm -hmm. but uh one more look around this thing for those of you that have not seen around it yet I have been driving it for the last week, give or take, so there's some stuff in it. But I'll turn on the Starlet headliner. You can see the headliner, the interior. I did just get to test out the four-wheel drive, which apparently does work. <laughs> I was wondering about this little four-wheel drive issue here. I showed you guys how they have, like, the side of the panel there's, like, cut off. Yeah, so you have to, like, stick your hand there and, like, grab the shifter. And, um... It did work. It's just kind of a pain in the butt. So I would like to find a remedy for that just because that's not the most convenient way to have to do it. It worked. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be a wrap on this video. I don't need to make a wheel and tire install video that long, but truck is super, super sick, super clean, ready for a new owner. So is this one, which by the way, January 15th, last chance to get in while this giveaway is up for grabs still. And uh, the ability to enter for both of these at the same time, again, it ends on January 15th, and that is the end of 30X and the dual entry period. So if you haven't done so yet, guys, hit the link, go to lmpgear.com, place an order, buy anything on the site, because it is pretty much a legitimate BOGO at this point, because when you buy anything on the site to enter for this truck, you're automatically getting the same amount of entries for this truck and vice versa. So thanks so much, guys, for all the love and all the support, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.